Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. This is 10 Minutes or Less. Let's start the timer. Bing! TNT! Yo. Your boy got in trouble. <laughs> Your boy got in trouble, dude. All right. Jeffrey himself. Yeah, he did, man. Young sex. thug. Big sex. I know uh, I know you really like the thug. And, I do. Uh, and he got arrested for some major stuff. Uh, you're telling me. Yeah, so he got yeah he got the old Rico charge, the racketeering dude. So, what is a Rico charge, Jonas? That is basically organized crime. It is Long a, and short of it. It is a crime for any person through a pattern of racketeering activity to acquire, maintain any interest in or control of any type of property, business, or or person. Apparently, yeah. Essentially, it's like mafia. It is organized crime. Organized crime. Yeah, organized like you crime. are. The the head of or whatever, and you're organizing ways to have criminal criminal enterprises. That could be yeah. through drugs or through like extortion or through murder or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a small charge. It's not a small charge. It's a very serious charge, and in his state, it has a maximum of twenty years in prison that he can do. That's it. You think there would be more? Because if you're if you're twenty years that ain't nothing. To if you? you're organizing people to murder other people, you seem like you should be in jail I mean, a lot longer than okay, twenty so years. Okay, so look the the racket the racketeering charge, the RICO charge itself, is separate from any other little charges that they can. Get oh, because they could get him for yeah. murder and other things. Yeah. Like yeah. if you murder somebody, they're not going to just overlook the murder and just charge you with the RICO. They, that's something <laughs> they tack on when they're building. Gotcha, got it's because well, there was one other rapper too. I don't I remember his name. It was Gunna. He was he was brought up, but uh. There's okay, so Young Thug has a group that he's been using in his song YSL. Um, young Slime something life, yeah, Young Slime life. I thought it was Young Stoner life, but either way. Um, and apparently, you know, some of the members of his uh entourage were into some other stuff, and you know, he was just kind of obviously, if you're the money behind everything, then you know, yeah, the Mike Vick and the dog operation, essentially, you essentially, know, yeah. you're the guy with the money, you're basically the kingpin because you're funding it all, yeah. And so, he was he was kind of living that street life while having way too much money, yeah. And what I read about it too was they he called it YSL, but it was almost yeah. like a guy's and it was like the bloods, essentially, yeah. Like a lot of the people yes. in the his clique were bloods, so essentially, it was just he was running with the bloods. But called it something else. He's been he's been since since his very first album where he was su wooing out here in the streets. He always has been. Yeah, man. he always has been. And there was even uh, some stuff brought up about uh, what happened when uh, Lil Wayne's truck or uh, truck when Lil Wayne's uh, tour bus got <laughs> shot Lil up. Wayne's truck. Well, wasn't Wayne blood though? Right, but I, but I mean, you could have internal is. beef, anyways. That, so that Wayne's tour bus got shot up. Wayne's tour bus got shot up in 2014. The only reason they bring this up is because apparently there was, um, there was actually belief that uh, somebody in Young Thug's entourage had done it. And oh, okay, that was back in the day. Yeah, so they had to bring that up. The guy who did who did that, uh, he got convicted. He did his time in jail. He's actually out now. Oh, so he was, he got a lot of street cred now. He did it, went to jail for it, did yeah. an arc, think, and got out. I think he did seven he years. He didn't 6'9 him, though. <laughs> Probably should have. Um, <laughs> but he, he got his seven years. Yeah, so I don't know, man. It's pretty serious. I... I honestly don't know like what mentality goes into a person where you're already making, you're already millionaire. You're already a millionaire. Why do you need the extra two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for yeah. for uh? But for I crimes? think what it is probably is probably he was running in that lifestyle before he had money, mm. and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, I'm used to this lifestyle, and now I have money. Now I can be like a lot higher up in that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. And you're like. But and who cares? I, and you know, and I guess, and I guess that's the mentality: is like, do you care about the power, or do you care about the money, or do you care about both? Because like, I'm someone who I don't really care about power at all. Like, I don't care if I'm the boss. I don't care what. I, do I like being in charge? I would prefer it because I feel like I'm competent. But even when <laughs> I'm in charge, like, even when I used to like be the manager of a blockbuster way back in the day, like. I would go out and dust the damn shelves just as easy as I'd make my employees go do it. I'm not yeah, yeah, that like, I'm the boss. Ha, ha, ha. Don't let the power go to your head. Right. And we all know somebody like that. Right, so. exactly. And some people want the power where I couldn't care less. Like, if I was, like, 
oh, oh I have millions now? I'm like, Pfft. I'm just going to buy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I out, mean, dude. I feel I feel that. Um, I like being in charge, but on the same note, I don't necessarily want the responsibility, so I have a little bit of cognitive dissonance about it. Right, right. Where it's like, I should be in charge, but I don't want to, I don't want to actually be in <laughs> right, charge. Right, right. You're like, I can do it if I need to, yeah, but like, oh, yeah. that's a lot of extra work. Yeah, man. I just like... If it's somebody else's, I can be a role player, you know. So uh, yeah, we, we gotta be, we gotta be flexible. Um, but but pe- but people in the street life or organized crime life yeah. want to be the man, dude. Like they and, want to be the Tony Montoya. And it, it may not even be that that simple. It's like when you are the millionaire and you come from a poor bl- background. And it is always this commonplace, at least in, in black culture, where like if you make it, you got to show love to the home. I got homies right now. If I was to win a million dollars, I, I got to break them off. Just like just whether like, I've talked to you in 20 years or not, I got to <laughs> break you off. Like, hey, you were so, there through it. So here's a little chunk. of. So Young Thug is I don't know what his net worth is, but it's in the it's in the double million. Oh, maybe absolutely. Even triples. Yeah. And it's like, yo, you got to bring some of your friends up with you. And if they're still living a lifestyle because you're not going to like take care of all of their needs, but you're going to give them a job. You're going to look out for them. You're going to be like, yo, you can come with me to this. If you can say the right things around these people, it may be more money in your pocket. And that that, you give. Yeah. You basically give the opportunity. Yeah. You're like, here's a little come up for you. Help you pay off some debt. Help you buy a car or whatever. And I will give you opportunity to then take your own shot. Yeah, Somewhere. essentially. I'm yeah. putting you in the right rooms. But at the end of the day, these people are still going back to their home, wherever the hell that may be. Right. And they're still, you know, waking up in the same neighborhood that they've been waking up in. So, I mean, I kind of get it. Yo, yeah. Thug, can you maybe uh, let me use your car to go run these drugs? Sure, man. Go right ahead. Right, right, right. Or, so hey, they, hey, we need to, yeah, hey, we need to run a truck to run these drugs. Here, Here's the money, homie. Like, you know, so you end yeah. up becoming the default kingpin, even if you're not. Exactly. devious about exactly. it exactly and that's why i think mike vick fell too yeah let me yeah exactly so yeah. they did they did uh they they raided his home by the way i don't know if you're familiar i think with i did hear they raided his house they raided too. his home he got brought up on possession of marijuana with intent to distribute oh because he had that much he had that much and probably you know probably was selling probably probably had like bags of it just to like throw at people or something right like yeah, i yeah, could feel, sure. look man we have we have alcohol in our house that neither one of us drink but if somebody were to come over I, I hand it out like it's candy. Exactly. <laughs> so naturally, a young thug's house, he's probably got like dime bags, maybe eighth 20 bags. Sacks. Right here, homie. Yeah. He just throws it. Yeah. Somebody's like, hey, can we smoke? He's like, yeah, here's an eighth. Do it yeah. up. That's fire, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. this is being a good host. Dude, and I could see myself if I was really rich being like, oh, Absolutely. I got just got some weed hanging out for the homie. He's like, oh, you want to smoke? Here you go, homie. Exactly. Just, <laughs> and then exactly. yet you're technically dealing. And any. that's giving back. That's a form of giving back. Yeah, yeah it is. It really that's just is. being a good host. So, yeah, he had intent to distribute it yeah, but I probably not to sell it i do that for sure yeah because i'm like oh you, you want some liquor you, you exactly. got tons of like, no i got you're like you sure you don't want some liquor <laughs> like, <laughs> right we yeah. got we got all kinds of stuff. yeah exactly uh, man but, but who knows dude i mean you're that's ve- playing very devil's advocate for him it really is it's playing he up could him. be just a dirty devious man who just wants the power and money and drugs and i, I guess we can't say either no one we don't with know confidence. either way in the, in the courtroom will help it be decided but he's facing some stuff yeah i'm not gonna lie Thug is one of my favorite rappers. Um, I'm not as familiar with with Gunna, but I don't think that his charges will be anything uh, quite as serious. Yeah, it'd be basically like the same thing as if you got brought up on racketeering. They're gonna come in like I'm. I'm getting brought in for questioning. Right, right. <laughs> I'm but, probably just gonna turn myself in. But but they like, also, I didn't know, dude. But they also kind of. I mean, you know, like you know if he, if you're involved or not. Like I know you no theory. no if it gets if it gets to the point where your homies brought up on racketeering charges you Ooh. know if you were in it deep enough that where you're in trouble like you know you either have been like helping them out yeah or yeah, you've yeah. just been like hear no evil say no evil speak no evil I'm I'm around it but I ain't doing nothing yeah like, but that's it, right. it's not looking good right because if, if you know. And you don't say anything, right. well, then you're like, an accomplice. Yeah, like we go out downtown and you shoot someone in, in an alley, and I'm like, man, you shouldn't have done that. And we just like pretend like nothing happened yeah. and we go on our way. I'm in trouble for not telling on Dude, you. Dude, you could just walk by and see me with a smoking gun over a body, and <laughs> you got to say something right. or. Or I get in trouble for that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know so, that you potentially did something. So, so. going to probably at least be brought up on something like that, oh, man, because yeah. he knew see, something, he'll right? See, if Thug sees 20 years, Gunna's going to see at least. 
no, some single digit time. That probably. hurts my heart, man. So, but well, uh, but anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.